it's Rob Wozner from Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm shooting a video to help you increase your Zillow listing. So uh, whether you've been on the market for five days, two weeks, three months, the tips that I'm gonna give you in this video are gonna help increase your Zillow ranking and uh, get more views to your property. So I hope you like the video. Hey, it's Rob Wozner again from Keller Williams Realty. And the goal of today's video is to teach you tips and tricks and ways that we can keep your property at the top of Zillow so that when people are searching your neighborhood for properties, they see your Zillow listing first. So pay attention and we'll try to help you out. As you can see here, we try to get 100 views and you wanna compare uh, your property to competition or others in the area all the time and try to make sure that your property stays above everybody else's every day. That's gonna be the goal of this video. One of the first things that we do is adjust price. I know you, you're probably sick and tired of hearing change price, change price, change price. Any price adjustment at all, even $99, will, re, will move your property, whether from a stale listing or a slower listing, up the, 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 the search in Zillow, back up to the top again pretty quickly. So um, change the price, that is one trick that can uh, get you up there. Another advantage to changing the price is uh, if, if people that have saved your home uh, are subscribed to Zillow's um, system, what happens is they'll get an automatic email saying that the price has been changed on a property that they're interested in. So as you can see in this property, you change the, the amount a couple thousand dollars, everyone's gonna get an email who's interested in your property that the property has been reduced and it re-gets them back to your page. Another thing that can happen is anytime you change, uh, you wanna have an open house. So another thing as a for sale by owner, besides having it on Zillow, you're probably doing some open houses. So make sure that you tell Zillow that you're doing an open house, usually at least by Wednesday or Thursday so that people have time to be notified of it. Zillow will also email people who like your house, but it's another thing that'll help move your property uh, to the top without negatively affecting it. Because if you do too many price changes too quickly, um, that will uh, make people have some doubts about your property. So an uh, open house is a great way to change it without having to adjust the price. Another thing that you wanna do is you wanna write an enticing description in your Zillow listing. So be precise, talk about things, don't be very general. Uh, you wanna be very descriptive. As you can see uh, on, the, on the screen here, uh, in 2017, 2018, uh, Zillow had a 29% higher sales price by people who mentioned steam shower. So that's just a silly little thing that could be in your house that other people don't have, and it's just be specific as you can. Another thing to do is uh, make sure you update your home uh, details on Zillow. So when you go through your owner view on Zillow, what you wanna do is look for your Zestimate tools and uh, review the facts. Now this, this tip right here will also help increase your Zestimate. We all hate that low Zestimate, that Zillow or high Zestimate, that Zillow has. This is a way that you can adjust your Zestimate. So you go through this, click on the Review Facts tab, go through it, update everything you have, what your house is made out of, upgrades, pools, um, whatever you have, and hit that tab, and that'll help, and that's another thing that'll help you. The best thing you can do is have great photography. As a professional realtor, I strictly always use professional, realtor, uh, professional photographers on every listing I have. It's a known fact that uh, anything with less than 20 photos will take uh, a longer time to sell. Anything between uh, 22 to 27 photos always sells um, for more. So you wanna put a lot of photos in there, but you don't wanna have too many. It's kind of a fine line. Uh, you have to play with the system and learn how to do it. Make sure you comply to all the Zillow rules. Professional photography is gonna sell your listing for more money. Here is just a quick example that uh, houses between 200,000 and 1 million sold for 3,400 to $11,200 more just because they had professional pictures taken and not pictures with a cell phone camera or a, uh, you know, a, a camera you may have around your house. Professional photography will help sell your house for more money uh, in a quicker amount of time. So as a professional realtor, I do it all the time on all of my listings. Um, you wanna select the right photos. Make sure you have the right photos that comply to Zillow's photography uh, uh, compliance. You don't want to have any 
branding on them. They have to be plain. You just want really good shots of each room. You want to have that hero image, which is a really good shot of the outside, really good shot of the out, uh, rear of the yard, and anything that is special features of your house. So don't overload, just have uh, the right amount of pictures. The most important thing is make sure any pictures you do upload into Zillow are um, 960 by 629 pixels. That's their parameters that will show up the best. They won't be grainy. That's the best quality photo you could upload into Zillow. So that's the bottom line. Um, understand Zillow and understanding the platform and working the platform to keep your listing at the top. And uh, if you are getting tired or, or struggling, um, call me and we can discuss uh, different things that we do that will uh, cause your home to sell. Have a great day and best of luck selling your home. Take care.